Hi everyone, this is Teacher Marichu and welcome to our learning activity video on MathPax for Senior High School, Quarter 1, Week 5A. The objective, the learners solve problems involving inverse functions. Now let us get started. We have the exercises here. So for number one problem, on men's shoe sizes. The function pH of x equals 1.3x minus 4.7 converts a man's shoe size in the United States to the equivalent shoe size in the Philippines. For instance, a man who wears a U.S. size 12 shoes would wear a pH shoes of size. Well, we have to get pH 12 equals 1.3 times 12 minus 4.7 and that is equal to 10.9 or size 11. So we just substitute 1, 2, or 12 to x. Then, for letter A, Determine the pH shoe size for a man who wears a size 9 in the U.S. shoe. And for letter B, find the inverse of the pH of X and use it to determine the men's shoes in the U.S. size that corresponds to a Philippine shoe size of 5. Let's start. Let X be the shoe size in the U.S. And we have the function PHX be the equivalent shoe size in the Philippines. For letter A, we are given the function 1.3x minus 4.7. And we are to find a size 9, the counterpart of a size 9 US shoe size in the Philippines. So we have PH of 9. Just substitute 9 to x and we got 7. Therefore, the Philippine shoe size for a man who wears a size 9 US shoe is size 7. For letter B, we have given this we are given this function. We, we are to get the inverse. So we write this as y equals 1.3x minus 4.7. So write y instead of b of x, then interchange x and y this becomes y becomes x and x becomes y so reason interchanging x and y then we add both sides of the equation by 4.7 to get rid of 4.7 on negative 4.7 on the right hand side so this becomes x plus 4.7 equals 1.3 y or simply we can say transpose 4.7 to the left side. Then we have interchanging 1.3y equals x plus 4.7. We are having the reflexive property of equality. Then multiplication property of equality by multiplying 1 over 1.3 to both sides of the equation. Then finally, we have y equals pH inverse of x equals x plus 4.7 all over 1.3. And what is the counterpart Philippine shoe size of 5 in the U.S. shoe size? So this now converts a shoe size of 5 in the Philippines and its counterpart equivalent to the U.S. shoe size. So we have here pH inverse of 5. Just substitute 5 here. That means we have 5 plus 4.7 all over 1.3 or 7.46 or uh, we have to e round it off to the nearest one decimal place or the nearest tenths. So it's 7.5. So therefore, the Philippine shoe size of 5 is equivalent to 7.5 shoe size in the U.S. 
Moving on to exercise number two, we have the problem. The latest exchange rate of 1 euro to Philippine peso is worth 51.54 pesos. Find a function f that gives the Philippine peso value phi f of x of euro. Find the inverse of function. And for letter C, how much euro would 98,000 Philippine currency be worth? So for the solution, let x be the amount uh, in the Philippine currency. And f of x be the equivalent amount in euro. So we have f of x equals x divided by 51.54. This is our function converting the Philippine currency into a euro. For letter B, we have to find the inverse. So rewriting this in the form y equals f of x. Then interchanging x and y. And finally, solving y in terms of x. So we have here the reason. Therefore, f inverse of x equals 51.54x. So we can just substitute y equals f inverse of x. For letter c, we have x equals Philippine peso we have 98,000 worth of pesos. And we are to convert how many euros this could be. So converting to euro, we have to use the function f of x, the given one. And we are to find f of 98,000. So we just simply substitute x equals 98. And it becomes 1,901.44 euros. And we're done with this problem. Enrichment activity for number one. A particular breed of tilapia has its weight in kilograms related to its length in centimeters modeled by the function W equals 0 0.00324 L squared. Explain why the function is one to one even if it is a quadratic function. And find the inverse of this function and approximate the length of a single fish if its weight is 400 grams. Solution. The function is 1 to 1 even if it is a quadratic function because we are only considering the positive value of the length of tilapia. Taking the negative value of the length is immaterial and irrelevant in the context of the problem since there is no such thing as negative length. So finding the inverse of the function, we have to write the given function w equals 0.00324 L squared. So, interchanging the length and the width, we have to write L equals this constant times W squared. Then, solving based from this, we will isolate W. Let's do it. So, we have to divide both sides by the constant 0.00324 here. Then, we can cancel this out. And this will give us W squared equals L over the constant. Then we need to find the value of W. So when we are taking the square root of both sides, square root of W squared, this is supposed to be plus or minus. But we are not considering the negative value for the weight because there is no such thing as a negative weight. So this is W equals the principal square root L divided by 0 0.00324. And this is simply the inverse function in terms of L. Now, approximating the length of a single fish if its weight is 400 grams, then we go back to the original given function, W, equals this constant, L squared, 
Then, we have to equate or given with the weight, 400 grams, and that is equal to the constant L squared. Then, solving for L, we found that L is 351 centimeters, corresponding to the 400 grams given weight of tilapia. For number two enrichment activity, women's shoe sizes. The following table lists equivalent shoe sizes for women's shoes in the United States and the Philippines. So we have to let this be our X values, the US sizes. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 9. Then for the Y counterpart, we have the Philippine shoe size or the shoe sizes 36, 37, up to 41. We are to determine a linear function S that can be used to convert a U.S. women's shoe size X to its equivalent Philippine shoe size function here is S of X. And for letter B, find the inverse function and explain how it can be used. Solution, we have to find first the slope M. Let M be the slope. And M is the change in Y and the change in X. Now, let's just get two points, the two corresponding or consecutive points. 37 minus 36 all over 5 minus 4 equals 1. Now, we have to use the point slope form of an equation of a line. So, we have to have a point and the slope. We have now the slope, we need one point, so the most convenient point for us is, let's just use base from the table. In the previous slides, we have 4, 36. This will be our point. And this is the form of, the point slope form of the equation of the line y, minus y sub 1, 36 is our y sub 1, and x sub 1 is, is 4. So, we have here y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. So, plotting in the values of y sub 1 and x sub 1 we and the slope. So, y minus 36 equals slope is 1. So, times quantity x minus 4. So, y therefore is equal to x minus 4 plus 36 or simply y equals x plus 32. And this is our function s of x equals x plus 32. Now, finding the inverse of the given s of x. So, simply copy, then express it in terms of y. s of x equals y, which is equal to x plus 32. Then, we interchange x and y. Then, we solve y in terms of x. y, therefore, is x minus 32. And we rewrite s inverse x equals x minus 32. Now, this inverse function of s sub x is used to find the U.S. women's shoe size given the women's shoe size in the Philippines. Whereas, this s sub x is actually the given the U.S. size and we have to convert it in the Philippine shoe size. For number three, the relationship between degree Kelvin and degree Celsius scales is given by K equals C plus 273. Determine the value of Celsius when K is given to be 345. Solution, the given function, the given K equated to C plus 273, and we have to solve for C. So the degree Celsius in the given K equals 345 degree Kelvin is equal to 72 degree Celsius. Note that we can also apply the inverse function technique to solve for C. But in this case, since we can use the best way possible or the most efficient way to solve this problem, so we have this solution. So, for the references, we have Math Box Quarter 1, Week 5A. And this is your teacher, Mari Chu, saying always stay happy, healthy, and safe. 
and please like this learning activity video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. And I would be happy to assist you or to reply to you as soon as I can. Thank you and God bless us always.